Hey, what's up? This is Scott with Level Up Tuts, and today I'm going to be coming back to Drupal finally, and I'm going to be working in Drupal a lot more, so you might see a, a lot more Drupal tutorials coming in the next month or so, because uh, usually that's how it works. If I'm working in a particular system a lot, uh, I just have more inspiration to do these videos for that particular system. So in the past, a uh, couple of months here, I've been working on a large Magento site. That site's going out the door right now, so uh, I might be pulling back a little bit on the Magento and maybe coming to do some more Drupal tutorials. However, both will continue going as well as the Android series. But I wanted to kick it back into Drupal with something really cool, and here I have made a responsive grid for our videos here. And so you'll notice that when I resize the page, uh, the grid stays intact. Our gutters stay the same, and it it you know breaks down to this nice list. And then I pull it back out. Perfect. So you might be wondering, how do I do something like this with Omega? Well, that's what we're doing today. And if you'll notice, this is a, a Level Up Tuts website, which is actually is not the site that we have up right now. You may have also noticed that Level Up Tuts has probably put about a whole hour into the design of our current site and <laughs> it's really because we've been spending our time making these videos instead of working on our own things but that's about to change uh, because this March is Level Up Tut's one year anniversary and we want to get this site going for March. Uh, I can't guarantee it's going to be the this current theme is going to be done by March but you may see some tutorial videos using this theme because you know as we're building this there are going to be topics that we can talk about. So here we have our Drupal tutorials video page and we're going to be building this grid so that it's responsive using Omega. So this is the end product. Let me show you what it looks like before we did this. So here's our list before we did anything fancy with it and we're using views here to output this and this is just our Drupal page and here's our page description but all this stuff is a list coming in of all our different tutorial videos. The drop shadow on these, the color, the text, this is all styled with CSS, although the styling isn't anywhere near finalized yet. Uh, but basically, it's just outputting a list, nothing fancy. So how do we get this to cooperate with uh, Omega here? Well, let's edit our view and let's add some classes. And once uh, you see how this is done, you're really going to be surprised at just how easy it is. So we have our fields, our poster, image, our title, uh, and our body. For our format for our view, we're using uh, semantic views, um, and then we're showing a semantic views fields. And I like semantic views in particular because it really cuts down on some of the, the Drupal bloat, where it just adds div upon div upon div. And that's, you know, probably my least favorite thing about working in Drupal. So now that we have this semantic views, if you don't have this extension or this module, please install this module, semantic views, check it out. Uh, we have a video on semantic views already. So if you need to know how to use it, you know, you can see it there. Um, so you don't have to use a grid. In fact, if you use a grid, it's actually going to be more difficult to make this responsive. What this is going to do is it's going to output it in a list of however you want. And I'm going to have it wrapped in div tags. So let's click on our settings here. We're not going to have any groupings. Uh, so we don't have to worry about groupings. And we're going to have this be a list. How is it going to be a list? Well, it's not. It's going to be none. And it's going to be known because we're going to be wrapping every row in a div. And we have a class right now that's just tut tease. That stands for tut teaser. And uh, and we just have this odd even striping. So here's where the magic happens to get this to respond to Omega. Uh, let me go to the site on another tab here just so you can see something. So when we have these uh, blocks... Let's inspect one of these blocks here. You can see, let's check out the code right here. It might be a little small type. Let's see if I can make this bigger. If you can see this here, this says grid nine. And the class grid nine is giving it a couple of things. So container 12 grid nine is giving this a width of 880 pixels and we scroll down here it's giving the margin left of 10 pixels and a margin right of 10 pixels so here is our grid 9 and it's also floating left and all this other stuff position relative in line okay so but the most important stuff is the stuff I mentioned the margin and the width so the grid 9 is doing that 
let's get out of here and let's go to our tutorials page and I'm just going to go to the Drupal's tutorials page and so here we have these let's click this blocks to turn on our blocks and uh, well let's turn off the blocks let's have the grid on and you can see here's our grid I want to have this be two columns because that's really what makes sense for us we could have it more columns than that but two is nice and good because then you get a, a nice large image more readable and everything so let's look at how many columns this is going to take up it's going to take up one two three four and then we also have one two three four and then one extra for some space so there's a number of things we could do we could just leave it like this and have some extra space here or uh, we could have some extra space at the beginning or we could change this overall from being 12 columns to being 16 columns and that's going to be more divisible I believe well, let me try to do this in my head 8 plus 3 well it could it could be close I'm not exactly sure if it would if it would work any better with 16 but uh, what really doesn't matter to me is this image doesn't need to take up all four of these columns so if we have this here and this goes for here this nice little space here is, is going to be okay and we can always extend this donate button and all the stuff we're going to have over here if we want to but it's really not a big deal so in, if you saw in the in the last screen when we saw that the blocks taking up nine columns was grid nine you can guess that we're going to want to set our div to grid four okay so let's do that and so here class we're going to say grid hyphen four and we're going to save it. And I'll save our view. It's telling me everywhere that I have a security update. Um, I should probably get on that. So here's our grid. And it's pretty good. But look at this happening right here. We have this. The text here is, it, is going right to the edge of our container. But this is being pushed over. And, you know, if I wanted it like that, that would be okay. But let's turn on our grid. And we can see it's it's not quite right so let's inspect this and see what's going on so if we hover over this we're seeing that it's getting the margin on the left and the right however this is inside a grid already so this is inside let's find it this grid 9 which is already receiving the margin left and the right so you'll notice that it's actually going to be messing up the uh, grid structure it's getting pushed over too much and it's not in line with the columns anymore. So how do we solve that? Well, uh, luckily there's a nice and easy way. Let's come back into our view here, edit view, and we're gonna add some striping to this. And it's not really striping, it's every other class, and the option class. So first and last uh, class right here, we can say every two rows uh, give it a first and a last. So with Omega, you can have alpha class if it's the first item in a, if it's the first item in a row, and Omega if it's the last item in the row. And this uh, alpha will remove the margin on the left side, and the Omega is going to remove the margin on the right side. We're going to add this to our display. We're going to save this, and just like that. We have an outline, we have a grid here that falls exactly into how we would like this. Perfect, 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 cool, great. So uh, one thing you may have noticed is that when we scroll down and got far enough, these images also shrunk. Well, that's being done with CSS. In fact, I just have a nice little mix in that I wrote that all it does is have max width 100% and then height auto. And on those images, I'm applying that mix in so I'm just saying um, include this D7 image, and that's just giving it a, a max width of 100% and a height of auto, and that's allowing these to resize when our browser window resizes, and so they're not going to get any bigger than their container. So, as always, this is Scott with Level Up Tuts. If you have any questions or comments, leave a comment in the video. Hit us up on Twitter at Level Up Tuts. Let us know what you're thinking, uh, and thanks for watching. Bye.